Hey guys, Llama 3.2 was just released. In this quick video, I'm going to give you a demo of the Llama 3.2 model for the 1 billion parameter and the 3 billion parameter model. So I'm going to show you how to install that and how to run a test. So Llama 3.2 has the lightweight and multimodal Llama models. So the 1 billion and 3 billion parameters are the lightweight ones meant to be used on device or can be used on device, but of course you can run them on a computer as well. And the multimodal, multimodal uh, models are the 11 and 90 billion parameter versions. Uh, is, I didn't find an easy way to run the multimodal models, so that's why we are going to demo only the uh, 1 billion and 3 billion parameter models. There is an evaluation of, of these uh, here on the uh, Llama 3.2 web page. So for the multimodal models, uh, it's a bit like um, you can give it an image and then it will generate the text describing that, that image. So not really anything we have haven't seen before. We had some dedicated models for that purpose. But okay, let's go into the demo. And for this demo, we will be using LM Studio. If you don't have LM Studio installed yet, check the link in the description. I have a video on installing LM Studio. So here we can see under new and noteworthy the Llama 3.2, 1 billion and 3 billion parameter models. So you can go ahead and, and well, I just did download them, but you can go ahead and click here, the download button to get it. And you will also see if, okay, once you have downloaded both the 1 billion parameter and the 3 billion parameter models, we can go ahead and press on the chat button. And here on the top, we have the selection for the model. So let's, first try out the 1 billion parameter Llama 3.2 version. And so as the first prompt, let's ask it to write a story about a bird. And it's generating the text at a good speed. This is on a laptop with 4 gigabytes of VRAM on the GPU, so it's fully in the GPU memory and we get 57 tokens per second, so that's a good speed. And just reading a bit about the story, it seems to be a coherent story and looks fine, so let's mark this as pass. Next, let's give a bit more challenging prompt. So you have three boxes, one contains only apples, one contains only oranges, and one contains a mix of both. All the boxes are mislabeled. You are allowed to take just one piece of fruit from any one box without looking inside. How can you correctly label all the boxes? Again, the speed of the response is very good. So on this reasoning task, it doesn't really do very well. It's trying to take one fruit from each box and that was not allowed. You are allowed to take just one piece of fruit from any one box. So it's a fail for this one. Okay, let's try the other, other model. So to eject the memory of free up the memory, press on eject, and then we can select the other model. So let's go with the Llama 3.2, but this time the 3 billion parameter version. So it's loading that into memory. Takes a while. And I think it's not able to fully get this into memory. Okay, I actually failed to load, but I closed some apps on the machine and freed up some memory. So let's try again. And this time it seems it was able to load the model into memory. So I think it's partially in the GPU memory and and partially in the in the 
regular RAM. Okay, so I just pressed on plus to get a new chat and let's try the first prompt again. And clearly this is a bit slower because it's a larger model, so that's expected. Okay, we just got 11 tokens per second and this took quite long to generate this storage. It's quite long and the text is fine, so this is a pass. But let's try the, the harder prompt for which the 1 billion parameter model failed. So let's see. Okay, again, for this reasoning task, we can see that it's trying to take one fruit from each box to to solve the problem, and that was not allowed, so it's a fail for this one again. Comparing to ChatGPT 4.0, if you try that in the browser, it will get the response correctly. So not great for reasoning, but if you can run these on mobile devices and things like that, I think they are nice tools and for other kind of tasks, they do just fine. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.